we're going to be working with a new welcome sign today. Thought it's time to work with one of those. All right, I think we're good. All right, the yellow in this is not really a yellow yellow. It's more like a butterscotch yellow. Can you see? I mean, you can use yellow, but I kind of like to always match the sign. And I think that's what's good about um, watching me because I will pick the exact colors out of the sign. That's what's so good about making your own signs. You know what colors are in them. Really? Maybe it's something in the air then. Okay. Does anybody want me to lower you down? I'll lower you down. And then we can get started. So hopefully you can see it better. Okay. So we can gather up the ends here. And I'm going to push it through to the back. I will go at the end and zip tie all that together. Everybody's staying cool. It's warm. I'm going to do 10 inch poofs. This is a, a fabric mesh and mostly any store will carry this. Like Craft Outlet, I'm sure, any of the other ones. In fact, I think Craft Outlet just started opening their orders again. Just had a visit from one of my puppies from the last litter. Little Georgie came to give kisses. That's always nice. I did finally get all the new signs on Etsy. So if anybody was looking, they're on there now. Where and round. Really 15 inches across. Okay. Good to know. Because I thought the pixie wreaths were smaller. Are they not? Because this one is 12 inches across, and right now that's the widest I have. I know, they're so cute. They come back and give me lots of kisses. I love this color, because it really pulls the, the yellow out of the sign. And this is a 21 inch mesh that we're doing 10 inch poofs. Yeah, they all know Mama Robin. In fact, I did a live, I think last night from the whelping box and uh, <laughs> one of my other puppies, she's been gone now over a year I think and she heard my voice and she went nuts trying to find me all over the house okay 15 inches finished and you really you need a 15 inch sign or what a 12 because I somebody asked me about the pixie wreaths and they asked for a 5 by 7 sign and I just got some of those in I just haven't had a chance to design anything on them because I wasn't sure what everybody was doing because at the time they asked me I only had the nine by seven and they said oh we'll make it work but usually you should do smaller so I wasn't sure. Where do you get your base from, Susan? This is a fabric mesh. 
So I was a little bit hesitant in using it. I know the fabric mesh, if you're going to have it really in the sunlight, the fabric mesh holds up a little better. It doesn't dry out and crack like the other, um, the regular mesh does. Well, cool. Welcome, Beth. I guess working from home has its advantages sometimes, huh? <laughs> I think there are going to be a lot of people that have to go back to work that do not want to go back to work. I said, I wonder how many people are going to change their professions when they have to go back. Um, this fabric mesh was actually a closeout that somebody had told me about. Um, so I know that place isn't selling it anymore because they were closing out their mesh. But I'm sure Craft Outlet has fabric mesh. I'm sure if you checked into it. Um, I know I've gotten the 10 inch fabric mesh from them. Hey, Lillian. But I love this color. It's like I said, it's close to butterscotch. I'm going to do my zip tie at the end. I think I get a little carried away, so I'll do it at the end altogether. I want to check into that, Susan. I did see somebody was ordering the squares because I'd kind of like to try the squares. And I know they're back to ordering online again. And I'm, believe it or not, I think this is my second to the last wire frame. So I'm going to have to get some in soon. Look at that color. Now I used um, a Dollar Tree base. I cut my tinsel ties at 12 inches. And I placed them about every 4 inches. Oh, that's great, Beth. I can't. I, I about. <laughs> I go into a store and I can't wait to get out because I gotta take that mask off. I know why it has to be worn, but I I can't stand breathing through it. Now Norwix is a company like um, Tupperware, that kind of stuff. You know, they have the real good cloths and you just use water. I mean, it, the cloths have silver in it and they really do an awesome job on germs. And they just came out with masks that are really good and I'm waiting on them to come in. because then I know I'll really be protected. They're just slow because the whole company is ordering them. Yeah, I wonder how it's going to affect people in the summer with the heat, being able to breathe through them. Okay, one more, and then we'll go under and tie it off. I don't know. If I want to go, no, I think I'm just going to stick with that. I love this mesh. There are some fabric meshes I do not like. This one I really do like. Let's pick it underneath. Always try to even this off before I put it away. That way, I have a clean finish when I start the next time. So 
So I'm going to bunch these two together. Well, actually, yeah. Yep. There we go. That would look good. I was trying to figure out what you were saying. Okay, the diamond shape, you would you would uh, change the square frame, make it sit in a diamond shape. Okay. Beth, my husband, made me that. I actually had a flat piece of wood, and all I did was get some dowel rods, and you put a little extender here. Let me see if you can see it. You put a little extender right here, and then we put um, a yardstick across the front, and he did three layers. All right, so we got this on there. Now we're going to go ahead. I have some more fabric mesh. Yes, see, there's a little little spacer here is what you call it and then you go down and under in front of the underneath the yardstick and then it's got three levels see I love it because I can have two rolls of mesh or I can do ribbon on the top There are, there's a Susie mesh, there's a Susie out there and she makes a mesh roller. And I know you can get those. He even made my, um, my fluff box. He's real handy at that stuff. He even, we altered, um, my ribbon racks. Um, he built one for me. Then I was able to find this one and then he fixed it so we could use it for ribbon. I mean... Usually I come up with an idea and he can figure out how to how to put it together for me. So, all right. So these are cut at 18 inches. So I'm going to do the woodland ruffle on this. I thought this would would really complement the sign and make that yellow pop too. Like to tuck this under because this mesh can really fray the more you touch it. So I try to tuck the ends under. Now, I don't know. Wait a minute. I might want to do it this way because I might want that yellow popping through. I think I want to do it this way. With the curl. Hi Carol, welcome. Yeah, I think I want to do the roll instead of the ruffle. So we still get some of that yellow popping through and it's not so saturated with the black and white. what I want. 
what? I didn't cut tails because I may just do a couple of ribbon. I'm, I'm, I like tails, but I'm really liking the, um, the look of just bows. I mean, the tails, it's just too overdone for me, you know? The wreath form, Donna, it's a Dollar Tree wire form, and then I just use the um, tinsel ties. I get my tinsel ties at Trendy Tree or Sims or Craft Outlet. Um, they come in a roll or they come folded up like this, and I cut them at 12 inches. And then I attach them on the wreath base like every four inches. I like the tinsel ties because I've, I've used pipe cleaners. Everybody knows me and pipe cleaners. I, I just don't like them. In fact, this form had a bunch on it from a previous wreath I was going to do and I took them off. Because if you do a lot of twisting, a lot of twisting, they end up breaking or they rust really bad out in the weather. So um, I find these easier to tie and they're stronger. This usually runs between, I'll say $2 and $3 a roll or for the folded section. I think there's like 20 some, let me say, 26 inches. No, 26, that can't be 26 feet. Maybe it is. 26 feet. <laughs> Probably is. So, um, and then I just place them every four inches on the, the form. And I hot glue it. I just put two little dabs of glue on there and then I twist it. Hey, Linda. How are you? I want to know how you went live on YouTube. I still haven't figured it out. I still have to go back and hit the replay. I got to figure it out soon. I don't know if any of you were on here last night when I did my live, but my my iPhone popped off at me. The mount I have broke. It came flying off at me. <laughs> hey Esther. Hey Janet. We did 10 inch poofs of the yellow. And it's more like a butterscotch color. Because um, that's the coloring I used in the sign. We're using my new welcome sign. Oops, we're losing flowers. Everything sticks to everything. Put that over there. There we go. Yeah, this, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Had it a good while. I'm sure I could figure out something to fix it. Well, hey, Fran from Alabama. How are you? What's the weather like? I bet you it's really hot down there. 
Oops, I'm gonna go this way. My monster scissors. I go, Linda, I go two o'clock on Wednesdays and usually um, 6.45 Eastern Standard Time on Monday nights. I didn't this week because um, of the holiday. But I may soon be switching to Tuesday nights. I'm not sure. Seems to be a lot of us on at the same time. And what we did yesterday, um, I actually went on at 5, and then Wilhelmina went on at um, 7. So we're thinking of continuing that tradition, but flipping. She would probably go on next time at 5, and then I'll go on at 7. We don't know. We've been discussing. Thank you, Esther, for sprinkling the love. Appreciate it. Your rock and roll noon was rocking, girl. I loved it. Can everybody see it okay, or do I need to, like, bring you down closer? Let me know. Linda, this was one of the signs that somebody requested. Um, we had a contest. And I asked everybody, tell me what kind of signs you're looking for and what you want them to say. What size? And they wanted vertical welcome signs. So we came up with this one. There's ribbon out there that matches it. So we've got it in yellow and we also have it with purple flowers. So you can get it either way. You want it closer? Okay. That's the benefit of having Amiibo. You can usually get it closer. So, and we'll, we'll hold another uh, sign contest for June. Um, the sign that got the most votes was the lighthouse, the Cape Hatteras lighthouse. So Denise Stanford, that was her suggestion. So she won the lighthouse sign. So, and anytime I send you a sign, I know Susan knows this. Um, I want to see pictures of your design because I share them. And if you're doing it on a live, I want to know. Yeah, it's, I think you have to kind of figure out when your audience is. And it seems like the later you go, Linda, the more chances you have of seeing more people on the East Coast or on the West Coast too. And that's kind of hard. I'm, I'm up really early in the morning, so I try to get mine done and over with as soon as possible. So... Yeah, I'm, my feet hit the ground at 5, 5.30 in the morning, and the dogs are all ready to go out and be waited on. So by the time 9 o'clock rolls around, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, so then you have the option of hitting both coast really I just know there's a pocket of us all that go on Monday night around 8 or 6 45 to 7 there's a bunch it's like everybody's finally getting the nerve up to do them and now we're just jammed <laughs> so
Yeah, usually after I take care of the dogs in the morning, I check to see what my Etsy orders are. And believe it or not, we're so um, so organized right now that we have everything set out and ready to go. So I just print up the signs and then my mail lady usually comes around 10 o'clock and boom, we get them out. As soon as she gets here, they're gone. I did all my shipping this morning from orders that came in last night. So. Mesh is so soft. Two more. And I'm just now getting to my taxes. I'm trying to get them done. You should see my table upstairs. That's why when we were on our Zoom call with Lori yesterday, I, would, I had it hitting the ceiling because I didn't want anybody to see my loot of paper. The mess I had on my table. Okay, there we go. I knew I missed one. don't forget I do logos too so my logos are really reasonable if you have a Facebook page and you need a logo for it um, we also do logos on aprons um, I don't want that to go the other way there we go all right There's our wreath base. All right, now we're going to put our sign on here. See where we want it. I don't know. I kind of like it in the middle. But maybe the middle is where it's going to go. out. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it in the middle. Yes, I did. And I'm so glad you liked it, Esther. That was reasonable too, wasn't it? Usually between 30 and 35 dollars. And then you get a sign on top of it with your logo, you know, your logo on it. What am I doing? Okay. And don't tell me. I think I left the wire upstairs. Let me check. All I have down here is green. Oil. We'll use some tinsel ties. Heck with that. Let's see. I think if we did it corner to corner, I have a better way of disguising it. Oh, and somebody was asking me about these last night, these cutters, the hole punch. I did um, post a link to Amazon where you can get them. I like them because they're grippable and they don't slide. Come on. No, 
not big enough for the so we'll just punch a few more in there I know, right? I like the purple too. And I could have I could have done the purple. I have some purple mesh. This is really gonna hold well. had to make the hole bigger for the tinsel ties. Now the colors just I always tie mine too tight. Why is that? Believe it or not, I was hoping I had a, I have some new um, wreath attachments coming in, and I was kind of hoping one would be in today because it would have fit perfect on this wreath, and it didn't come in, so I'm waiting for the lady to send me the tracking. some flowers but I don't know I don't think I like them I don't know we'll see I think I know I'm gonna put a butterfly on here because my other things didn't come in and all I have are purple and blue so we're gonna put a blue butterfly on here but I think I'm just trying to decide where I want to put my bow could put it here and then drape some of it around here. So I think I'm going to do that. And I thought this bee fabric was pretty darn close to that yellow. I know this is. has the three colors in there. And I know this looks pretty good with it. And then I thought I'd pull some of the green out of the sign. So that's there, and then I have the matching ribbon to the sign. So I think we're going to go that route. I think the bow's going to go up here, and we're just going to cascade it around like here. I'm just, like I said, just tired of the tails. I don't, I don't particularly care for them. So. Have to readjust some of this. There. We're going to make it all about the bow. So. And I'm going to make these tails really long. 
so that's about a 34 inch tail thank you I'm using the easy bow for now and I think I'm going to do about six inch loops I'm going to do four of each one. Stay with six inch. There goes that darn peg. Oh, this peg just drives me insane. Oh, another project coming on for my husband. Oh. I hope Easy Bow isn't watching. <laughs> See? Dang it. this end. Maybe it's the wrong end. Sorry guys for the noisy beating. Oh. I'm going to glue this sucker. Look at that. I don't have anything here to hold it now. God, nab it. Well, we're just going to improvise. Darn it. Sorry, guys. I can't even find my, my other bow thingy. Always on a live, right? Hold that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're still using about a. Oh, it's going to end up pulling all the other bow with it. It's all tangled around these. There we go. Look at me. I'm trying to put. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. Ugh. I should have just done freehand. But I thought I'd give this bow maker one more chance. Thank you. How do I pronounce that? Is it Iona? Do I have it right? We're having a, a malfunction with my easy bow thing here. All right. Hold that. All right. So. A lot of these I have on my, my uh, Etsy store, these ribbons. And like I tell everybody, if you choose a sign and I don't have the ribbon and you don't see the ribbon there to match, contact me. I always have ribbon to match my signs and I can always sell it by the yard too. We're doing it this way instead of tails. We're going to make it all about the bow. Now comes the ribbon that was used to make the sign. And this comes 
in yellow and it also comes in purple. I think I'm only going to do three. Two and a small loop on this one. zip tie. Who needs my bow maker? Not me. Make it work. I was hoping to have my bees in the mail today so I could put my bee on there. I own it. Um, I don't know if you have a do you have a um, a retail license or a sales license because I get most of my ribbon from uh, Sims Pottery in, in uh, it either comes from Georgia or North Carolina and they're the ones that have the big rolls but lately uh, they only have the 10 yard rolls so I think what's been happening is um, because of the state that we're in, I think they've only had the 10, the 10 yard rolls. Cause see, I get a lot of, like I have this in every color for my customers. I also have this in every color for my customers, all on my Etsy store, in my Etsy store, so. The only one I couldn't get is this, and I actually had to get it in the large, um, but I can still cut it down. You only really, really need about three yards to do a really good ribbon, or bow. So, let's see if this is going to work. It may not, and I may have to take it apart. I may not like it. I may want to cut it here and do two small, two small bows. I don't know. I fly by the seat of my pants a lot of times. Because that's how I roll. I can think better under pressure. Although I feel this headache coming back on. And I'm not liking it. I don't like headaches. Well, I don't think anybody does. <laughs> so. Take that under there. Now let's fluff her out. Should have put it on my fluff box. I dare to be different. Where's that other one? There it is. See, don't those colors look really pretty together? Let's try this. Hello, Diane. Wow. Let me just do the dovetail on this and see if I like it the way I'm thinking I'm going to do it. If not, we'll just chop it up. 
and make some little tails. I don't know. I design as I go. That's my method. All right. So And again, I'm just trying this. Like I said, I don't know if it's the way I want it to go, but Joy, hey Willie. We're trying something different. You know me. That's my GF. My Willie. Joy, your order went out this morning, hun. And the ribbon. I'm not sure I'm going to leave it this way, but I'm just trying something. You never know until you try it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Decided not to do tails. I wanted something a little different. So I just kind of want to visualize it and see if I like it this way, if I don't, there's still time to change it. I'm not. It's too much, so I'm going to chop it and make some smaller revisions here. Don't know until you try. So we're going to make these small, very small. And we're going to do the same to these. Give them a haircut. Hey, Thelma. I love this one. This sign is awesome. We have it in purple, too. Okay. So we're not done yet. Now we're going to do the same over here. We're going to cut these real short, too. And I think one small bow here and maybe a few tails right there. I don't know. Like I said, I figure it out as I go. Try something different. Here, cut. have to. You have to change it up. You know, I don't like 
I don't like I don't like my designs to feel like they're being copied off of somebody else. I want to change it up. That wasn't a very good. There we go. Got to have a sense of adventure. All right, I like that though better. It's a little different. Stop to fluff it out some, but I'm liking that better than the longer tails. That would have worked on the grapevine, the longer tails, but it wasn't doing it on this. So, now, what do I do with these? Let me see. Just trying some stuff out. Let me see. I thought the bee would be a nice touch in there because bees love flowers, right? So that had to go in there. All right. Hope all you all saw my my ribbon tails. But I could do some ribbon tails. Let's do some ribbon tails. Well, I think that would be good. Thank you, Susan. Or we're just gonna do smaller bows. We're gonna work with these two because I'm loving these two colors. So, we're gonna work with these two, and we're gonna make small ribbons and place them throughout. Let's try that. I'm gonna make the, the, um, I'm going to make it all about the little bows. Since my bees didn't come in, we're going to make it about the little bows. So, we're just going to scatter some little bows throughout. Why not? I'm sure somebody will like my design. If they don't, it's my design. <laughs> right? There we go. Come on. I can feel that headache coming back. And I'm not liking it. needs to go away. did not want to do tails. I've gone tailless. Right? Is Dawn on? Hey Dawn. Welcome. It's time to break the mold.
these in one of my new signs that was voted on. This was an idea that someone shared. Uh, it needs more of this. Just gonna work off these two colors. So I'm just like having tails in each one, right? All right, let me see if we have one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put a yellow one here. looks really really summery and I love this green stripe actually I think I'm just gonna put that one there and then a yellow one up there Maybe it needs some balls. I I don't have flowers, but I'm not, I don't know. I could put the three flowers like right here in a grouping. The green, the yellows, like right here. It needs balls, Willie. <laughs> I don't have any balls. <laughs> we tease poor Willie about her balls all the time. if it just needs green. Diana, I don't have this mesh um, uh, craft outlet. The yellow I got from someone, they had found it at a closeout. So um, that's where that came from. I know they have the um, 
the, br the black and white mesh is actually a 10 inch mesh and I know they carry that. daisy leaves and I have instead of a bee I have a blue butterfly ooh that one lost its antlers just another pop of color to bring in and put them there. What do you think of that so far? I just did not want to do a bunch of tails. It's time to go tailless. We went tailless. Thank you. You think? That one's losing its... Well, I can fix it. Maybe... Let's see. Come on. Here's another glue stick. Nice to have my bees on this. Find out where they are. What do you think? That over there? I have three purple ones and two blue ones. You think it needs a third one? Or just the two? or three purple. No purple. No purple. I think it needs a third butterfly, but I don't have a third butterfly, so maybe when my bee comes in, I'll put my bee in there. I have a frog, but he looks kind of putrid in there.
I like the blue. I think that looks good. We just need a third one. And I don't have any more. So, when the bee comes in, we'll use the bee on it. Yeah, because the other ones are purple. Purple is all I got. some more greenery in it though I think besides that you think the second blue one at the bottom of the slime like that you think there you know what it's missing its bead in the middle man I'll find something to replace it. We'll fix it. There we go. We's done. We went tailless and we're finished. I went and listed all the Etsy, all the things on Etsy. So all the signs are up. If anybody has any other questions. Thank you. All right. We are going to head out. I, it still needs something. I'll figure it out. And I'll take a picture. I appreciate you sharing the love and hanging out with me. And I do, I do have everything but this one. I ordered it and they only sent me one. So I have enough of any of the other ribbon, Diana. So if there's a ribbon that you see that you want, um, you know, I, 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 I have it. Except that one. I, I ordered six rolls and they sent me one. Oh. But it says Diana. How do I pronounce it? Diana or Diane? Because I don't want to mess it up. Got to do something to fix this darn easy bone maker. Because I'm not messing with that anymore. Oh, okay. You're telling me... All right, gotcha. Oh, here is our little gem. I found it. There we go. Woohoo. Anything you see, I have extra of. Again, I just don't have this one. So they must have sold out of that quick but they may still have the purple and the sign does come in purple also so just let me know I'll uh, when I get done I'll post a link to my Etsy store you can go on there and like I said anytime you buy um, a sign for me, I always have the ribbon to match. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Looks like my phone's about to die. Yesterday it popped off at me. Thank you, Esther. And nearly struck me. <laughs> How today it's about ready to die. Yeah, I kind of got that, Willie. <laughs> After I thought about it. Alright guys, you have a great evening and thanks for coming and spreading the love. And if I'm not on next Monday, you'll see me and Willie on next Tuesday. I think Willie needs to ride up here. And we need to do a live together. Steve likes to drive. Come on, Steve, bring her up. We would we would be cracking up, girlfriend. I know. I've already taken four Tylenol, so I'll try and a few more. I even took a um, vertigo medication because I thought that might be what it is. It's about ready to throw me into a, a massive vertigo attack, and I'm not. I don't have time for a vertigo attack today. So, thank you, Susan. I think we need a darker leaf here. I think this leaf is about had it. So, all right, guys. Well, tell him Robin said he has to drive you up because we have to do a live. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.